Exploring your SketchUp design in first person using a virtual reality headset gives you a really authentic point of view. So you can see how users of the space you're designing might interact with it. It'll give you a really good idea of how much furniture is too much, of where people might need space to walk and sit and space to gather together. Anyone designing an environment following the design thinking process or the human-centered design process will appreciate that this point of view allows them to explore the empathy and the understanding phases much better. A first-person point of view gives you a genuine sense of how various elements in the space relate to the user and to each other. For example, I feel like these tables are in the way of the door and people are going to have a hard time walking through here. Archeo is a multiplayer application that schools borrowing the STEM T4L kit can use to explore SketchUp files in virtual reality. Archeo will also allow students to draft out their designs in VR, beginning with a blank canvas. To learn more about that, visit the Archeo YouTube channel. In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how you can bring your SketchUp model into Archeo so that two or more people can explore the model at the same time. There's a number of pieces of software you need to have installed on the laptop for this to work. First of all, you're gonna need the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR app inside Steam. It should already be there. And of course, you will already need permission for the VPN to make Steam work in the classroom. I have seen it once or twice where Windows Mixed Reality for Steam wasn't working properly and the virtual reality component of Archeo failed. So to solve this, I've uninstalled and reinstalled the app. Next, you'll need SketchUp Pro 2022 installed on the Omen VR laptop. Have a look in the description below for the instructions on how you can get your SketchUp Pro 2022 license. Thirdly, you'll also need Archeo installed and licensed on that same laptop. Again, have a look in the description below for the link to the documentation on how you can get the license for Archeo. You should already be confident that your headset and controllers are working as expected. There are other videos on the STEM T4L YouTube channel that explore this in more detail. And of course, if you have any questions about any of these, you can reach out to the team at t4l.link forward slash STEM help. Once all these applications are installed and licensed, follow this process to get your first person multiplayer view of your SketchUp project. Number one, download the student SketchUp for Schools file using the three dots in their SketchUp for Schools home. Two, open the student project in SketchUp Pro 2022 on the Omen VR laptop. Next, use the Archeo toolbar in SketchUp Pro 2022 or the Archeo extension option to export into Archeo. Now this process will take a few minutes. When the export is complete, close SketchUp Pro and launch Archeo. If just one person is going to explore the design, then use the VR controllers and in the home menu, create a new scene and select import to find your model. If two or more people are gonna be working collaboratively, then create a new meeting 
make up a name and password for your colleague to join from a different device. And again, import the model into that meeting. Your model probably looks really small in comparison to the display bench. So on the controllers, switch to edit mode and then adjust the length and the width of the bench. Squeeze the inside triggers on the controllers to manage the scale, zoom in and out, and move through the 3D space. We've already seen that student work improves because of their ability to reflect on their designs via VR. And we'd love to hear how your students are using Arcio to improve their design process. If you have any questions about this, then please join us on the Viva Engage community or on the Facebook group. Just search stem.t4l.